Hello folks and welcome to our Mac Tactics Tactics. Uh, today we're looking at the 4411 um, 2, which is weird because I was looking at the 4411 um, with the centre forward and then randomly I decided to try the 4411 with the cam. Uh, it's not that the, 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 the instructions change that much, but oh, <laughs> oh this is not going to be a good start. Wow. <laughs> It's the first time you've seen the start of a video like that, isn't it? Boom! Like, subscribe, comment for more content just like that. Um, no, it was... It's weird because I was playing about with the the 4411 with the centre forward and then I randomly tried the um, cam and I don't know, it just, it just clicked better for me. So I'll talk you through what I'm doing in my amazing defending. The, the, the trick is now, right, we've seen two things. Conceding a goal doesn't bother me. Winning a match, yeah. I've already got three wins in qualification. You know, I would love to... Oh, that was a tackle by Yashin, wasn't it? Jeez, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Um, yeah, I've already got... There we go, see? Easy. Oh, no, no, don't quit. Don't quit at that. There you go. Toxic community. Qualification for Weekend League. Cash 2000. You're a star. Right, I'll get into another video. Get into another match. So, back in. Got a lovely message from that cash. I made his friend message me. He quit because I didn't skip the goal. You can go back and look, I did. He paused it as soon as I scored. He's a tube. <laughs> so, there you go. Toxicity of the FIFA community. I don't know why it's there, but it is, unfortunately. Oh. Steal by Haaland. Now, uh, it's terrible, but I actually don't want to score there, because I don't want uh, someone to quit. <laughs> um, so, the 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Um, it doesn't have CDMs, which is something that I normally avoid. Um, the 442, the 4411, uh, these sorts of formations, they are a little bit more um, not my cup of tea. Uh, but I do like. Oh, Campbell. Campbell. What was that? Jeez, oh. Like, subscribe for this great quality content you are seeing right now. Learn to defend like a pro. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this for in this formation, you're you're utilizing your front four quite, or you're trying to utilize your front four as, as well as you can. Um, it's quite fluid the way I have it set up. Um, you know we've got free roam on the, the left and right midfield, which is really nice uh, because we want them to cut inside more. We want to really narrow that that front four. Um, but we do also want them... Jeez, oh, what's going on today? We want them to be a benefit to us defensively as well. So, keep it in. Um, they have to come back on defence. So their free roam is, is only their attacking play, but they also have to have nuances in the, the defence. Here we go. Alan straight through. Boom. Um, so I, I skipped that really quick. Had to skip it because obviously now in the FIFA community we are, we can't take any time in skipping. Any time. Otherwise someone will quit at 1-1. One, one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this formation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build up down Primarily down my left hand side as normal. Um, we are just looking for those little through balls in the midfield. We're looking to press quite high. We do want to try and win the ball back as high up as possible. Um, I would strongly suggest with your midfield you don't go CDMs because they're playing as centre mids. So you more want box to box type players. I have Tushimeni and Rolfo, um, so I feel like I, I kind of get the best of both worlds. Uh, I've got the, the box to box in Rolfo, who's going to hit this? And um, I've got Tushimeni, 
who will provide that defensive spark that I need at times. Ah, I just couldn't, couldn't get inside. This guy is playing super deep. Get that from there. Oh. Uh, playing super deep. So, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's a ridiculous goal. That, that, um, that low driven, the really low powered low driven, if you've got a striker who has insane accuracy, yeah, that is a, that's almost a goal 100% of the time. Um, that's something you should try and work into your game. A lot of people panic and like press the, the shoot button because like try and get so much power onto it. Um, there is a time and a place for that. But the majority of time you just want to uh, tap it now. Well, that's what I'm doing. It's working. This guy has quite insane press. I am... Um, triggered Mbappe there on a pass and run, pass and go because uh, I wanted to make the make my opponent continue to track his run, really important thing to do uh, you're always wanting to keep them guessing with where you're going to run, how you're going to run um, that was just trying to jockey as best I can jockey's kind of been destroyed a little bit in this game I feel Big Callan there, Royce, back in the team, gave the ball away, but Czech comes up with a big save. Uh, so my thoughts with playing this guy is he's very good on the the movement inside. Jeez, there you go, low driven, almost a goal every time. Now should I quit because this guy? <laughs> um, yeah, so this this formation is just really, oof, just really about finding those passes into wide areas, boosting down the line, we skill, turn them inside out, come inside. Oh, got lucky there. Oh, it's Nakata card. I've seen a lot of good good noise about his finesse shots. I might have to do him. I wasn't really doing any more SBCs until team of the season because I think most of the cards in a week's time are going to be done might be, might be worth doing that oh come on what is going on with the passes today I am getting shifted right let's go Mbappe so this guy has his, his left back on his right back sorry on stay back uh, that is obvious because of Carlos going up the pitch um, and the right back being the, the more defensive minded one and that's fine it is obviously countering my um, my left hand side of the pitch because that's the side I like to attack down so one of the things I could do is I could switch to if I was playing this game to win it I would probably at this point switch um, to like the four one three two, which has both fullbacks going forward, um, or the five uh, two one two, not five two one two, five two two one, not done a five five two one two in ages. I do a five two one two actually. I could do that for Thursday for Wednesday. Not done a five two one two in ages, have I? Um, so you want to have a wee look at this guy's team, what he's playing. Um, he's playing the four three two one. Which he knew he would be. Um, Dembele will be his guy on coming back on defence. And Zavi and Nakata are his um, centre mids. Nakata out right, right, so it must be actually Viali coming back. Carlos going forward. James staying back. It's a good team. This guy's a decent player. Um, this is the thing with, with champs qualifications, you, you get a mix of players. And that's why I love testing the tactics out in this, because you're seeing me up against someone who you very, very likely could come up against in Weekend League. This will be a pro... Uh, pro? No. This will be a, a positive ELO player. George Best. He, he is obviously the right winger, but that free roam allows him to be in that right place. I'm always saying to you guys, with the whip cross meta, 
Think about it. Think about having big people in these wide positions. I really want to do so, do a tactic one day that actually tries that. So again there, oh, he, he read me. He's seen a kata playing that wide position. And I think that's where we try and, or certainly where I've been trying to punish people who are playing fourth, jeez, oh, oh, playing 4-3-2-1. Um, they're quite often putting players into wide places that don't want to play that wide place. Gee, if he had seen that pass to Carlos, I was toast. Oh, come on, that was a pass. Oh, big check. Now, what I did there, big secret, when you're defending with your goalie, I never touched him. <laughs> Genuinely never touched him. <laughs> I see so many players prioritising the goalkeeper movement over the, the defensive. And I am just not that guy. Uh, here we're going to go skill move. Can't skill the computer. But Havertz. Havertz is coming up. He's my, my attacking fullback. Still like him. I would prefer the fantasy bombaster but... With the back post headers being quite strong, Bombasa is just a wee bitty too small. So we're looking for that little pass to Mbappe. We're gonna get him going again. Play through Haver, uh, play through Haaland, and we're in. So this guy's gone more aggressive, and you see, as soon as people become aggressive, we have so many players running forward. We have such pace going forward. We have such tight lines. We can pass through the lines. We can play around players, but we stick into a really nice shape. Oh. Go now. Highlands all on his own. We're going to ball roll inside. Oh, he read it. He did. He read that really well. Give him that. Give him that. He's got that Puskas card, it's always going to be a danger. In this position, we're just trying to keep our close control really well because he is <sighs> trying to force mistakes from me. He's using some sort of pressure tactic now. But look at the space we have. Dink over. Oh, <laughs> it's a good save from Alison. So we have long ball tactic on. And the long ball tactic is, is doing what you're geez oh i thought it was a goal um it is doing what you're seeing there is allowing me to play out this pressure and i think that's for me one of the key things to do with uh, a formation that has um two midfielders rather than two um cdms is you've got to be on the front foot that's what the tactics all about it's not about sitting back and and trying to spring um there are better tactics for that. It's also not about putting high, high pressure on. There's better tactics for that. This tactic is about creating um, overloads in certain areas of the pitch when you can. And for me, that's generally down the left-hand side. Oh, I turned the wrong way. Oh, he's going back. Uh, he's also... He must have his defensive depth quite high because I do not have direct passing on. I have forward runs on. That's why a lot of my players are making some really nice forward runs. That's the benefit of having a technical dribble there in your team. You can constantly pull out these wee technical dribbles. It kind of breaks the eye a little bit. Um, and remember, when I talk about the AI of the players, I'm not specifically talking about something coded with the players. I believe there are AI traits for um, especially the named players. Uh, but what I'm talking about is the way the AI is performing com along with your instructions. Um, so if you're saying forward runs, I believe that unlocks something better within the players, within the, the character models to do better things. Um, I think direct passing does something very similar. But I do believe forward runs at... Th oh, that was a terrible pass. Oh, that's not going to be a red card, but it's going to be a yellow. 
Just fine. <laughs> We're just fine, but it's going to be a, it's a dodgy free kick, especially with Carlos. I mean, he's, he's going to hit it, but... Wall stood firm. Good. Yeah. So this formation, you want fast players. You want players that can do multiple roles. You do not want to be doing what I'm doing, which is just giving the ball away to the pressure tactics. This is the kind of game I would have gone into the five, the scene out formation, the five two two one, um, probably after I scored like the fourth goal. <sighs> you read that well again, um, because this guy is just oh, let's go away from me there. Now this is the benefit of having fast. Then oh no. No, 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 no. There's no way he wins that ball between my two centre-backs. Um, yeah, benefit of having fast centre-backs. You can just you can basically catch anyone. Benefit of having a whipped cross and a fast winger who's on free roam and I'll cut inside. Kind of just ends the game for you, doesn't it? So there it is. Let's get into the tactics. Right, folks, let's get into the tactics part. Um, this is the team I was running. Pretty average, uh, not average, pretty on par with everything I've been running lately. Um, Royce back in it for this this tactic. Uh, let's have a look at the 4-4-1-1-2. So this is how we had it set up. Mbappe and Best as the wingers because I wanted them coming inside and giving them free, free, run, free runs. Um, Royce in the middle, um, just trying him out there. He worked really well there, scored a lot of goals. This is the instructions. We have it balanced for defensive style, width uh, 40, depth 62. Uh, you could have this down at 58. Um, old gen, I'd have this down at about 50, 52 max. Um, you could turn this into a press information if you want and stick up at 72. However, I don't feel it's a really good press information. Build up play was on long ball, chance creation was on forward runs. Width for uh, chance creation was on 45. Players in the box I had up in 7 uh, because I wanted both my wingers getting in and one of at least one of the, the centre mids. Because remember, this is centre mids and it's not CDM, so it's not a defensive formation. It's not going to sit back and allow you to counter-attack. Um, great. It's, it, it can do that if you, you set up to do that, um, but it's not the best formation for that, so I don't know why you'd bother. The same with pressing. It's not a pressing formation. It's a formation to play football, get good passes, create the triangles, um, and get those runs in between the def the central defenders and the fullbacks, or the, the three central defenders, depending on what your opposition is running. I think it worked well against five at the back, and I think it worked well against four at the back. It worked well against a 4-3-2-1, um, and since most people are running that, that's my yardstick that I measure it by. Instructions, uh, striker, stay central, mixed attack, uh, cam on comeback on defence, get into the box and free roam, left and right wingers on comeback on defence and free roam and get into the box, same for best, because we wanted these guys running in the way, uh, Tushimene stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box and cover centre, and Rolfo stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box and cover centre. The stay on the edge of the box on these two is just because we don't want them bombing in, um, but we do want them in and around the box. Havertz is on balanced and overlap, and Cafu is on stay back while attacking and inverted to give us that nice little three at the back when we're up the pitch. Uh, Casemiro and Campbell we don't touch because we don't want them playing striker, and Peter Cech is on come for crosses and sweeper keeper. I hope you guys give this a go, it is a fun formation to play, it does offer something slightly different. Uh, the one thing I would say is I think it probably takes the spot of the 4 one 3 2 and um, it kind of comes down to your personal preference at that point whether you prefer this or the 4132. Um, completely up to you. Uh, it's not a pressing formation, not a defensive formation, so and it's not as neutral as the 4333 that I just put out on Saturday, um, or even the 4332. <laughs> Is that the one I put out? Is it the one with the one CDM? Um, yeah. So it, it, it's in amongst those three formations, if I'm honest. And then it completely comes down to what you prefer. So give it a go. Uh, play some games with it in Rivals um, and see how you get on with it. That's the only way you can really measure yourself with it. Good formation, fun to play, um, just slightly different. And remember, only play the game when you're having fun. If the game stops being fun, stop playing it. Team of the season coming up this weekend. It's going to be a big one.
be patient and don't get drawn in, into any toxic behaviour because that's one way to go down a slippery slope. Right, catch you guys later. Have fun.